Hey, big guy. What are you doing today? I don't know. I just want to hang out and chill today. I don't really want to do anything. Wait, did you see something? I smell something funny. What is that? Oh, shit. Turn around. <laughs> Welcome, my name is John Chapetta with Fitness Forward and I'm here to deliver you some badassery through this whiteboard. Okay, hold on a minute. Wait a second. I'm a little hungry. Mm. Mm. This Oreo is fucking delicious. Mm. Anyway, welcome. I'm here to talk to you about nutrition today, a little bit differently than what you're used to. I'm not going to be giving you ideas on what to eat. I'm going to help you audit your current diet so that you can better help yourself in the future instead of getting on a diet, getting off a diet, getting on a diet, getting off a diet. I'm sick of hearing that stuff and I don't want you to go through that like so many other people have. Maybe you have. Maybe you haven't, but let's do this shit. Nutrition. If you have good nutrition, you probably already know it. You feel good, you have high energy, you have very little health issues, you're probably leaner than the average person, and if you don't have proper nutrition, and you probably have a lack of energy, you probably have trouble sleeping, you might have acne, high blood pressure, digestive tract issues, stuff like that. That's a good way of seeing if your physical ailments could lead to lack of nutrition or could be from your lack of nutrition, okay? So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna help you understand and fix some parts of your diet through an audit that you're gonna do. Anytime somebody new comes in, I tell them to do one thing besides working out, of course. It's to log your food. Literally, step one, log food. If you've never done this, you need to download an application called Lose It or My Fitness Pal. These are gonna be really useful when we get to the later steps here, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna log it for three days. Everything you eat, everything you drink, put it in that application so that you can check it out as you go through your audit, which is the second step. Auditing what you ate. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go through every meal, shouldn't be too difficult, maybe four or five meals at the most, and you're gonna look at some numbers or some nutrients, okay? You're gonna look at protein, carbs, and fat, okay? These are gonna be your three main nutrients or macronutrients that they call them that you're gonna look at. And then you're gonna give yourself a grade, the third step. And we're gonna give you a little bit of some information about your grade and what that might mean. And then we'll make some changes from there, all right? But the first step, download that. You're gonna to have to do this for a few days, logging your food, everything you eat. Go through that audit and then give yourself that grade. Let's just break this down a little bit more. Okay. This is going to be after you log your food for the three days. So you're going to look at those three macronutrients. You got protein. And if you don't know what that is, we're going to go through it in a second. Okay. You've got carbs. We're going to designate these as fibrous 
or star seed? I. And then we're going to go through fact as well. Chubbs, as I like to call it. Okay. Just like that Oreo I just manhandled. Delicious. Probably some crumbs in there, but I don't really care. All right, protein. So as you're looking through your meals, you want to see if each meal has each of these three things in them. Okay? So you're looking for protein. What is protein? We're looking at meat. Mainly meat. Here, chicken, steak, pork, fish, all that good stuff. If you are a vegetarian, you're going to be looking at all different types of soy, tofu, legumes are high in protein. You can do protein supplements as far as whey protein or any kind of vegetarian protein. All right. So each meal, if you have meat in each meal. Second one you're going to look at, carbohydrates. Do you have fibrous carbohydrate? Do you know what this is? Okay, this is vegetables. And we're actually gonna put fruit in there as well, just to make it simple, even though it's not quite a fibrous carbohydrate, but it can go along in that category. And then you've got starchy carbs. These are considered bad by the media, but they're not horrible if you eat them properly, okay? Talking about potatoes, rice, okay, bread, oatmeal, okay, cupcakes, all that good stuff. Okay. Check each meal. See if you're getting in fibrous carbohydrates. See if you're getting in mainly starchy carbs. Okay? Just write it down. Mark a check next to your meal that you're getting that in. And then lastly, fat. Okay, talking about nuts. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Avocado, fish oil, any kind of butter you're using or oil, or if you're getting fat from your meat, like saturated fat from your red meat, okay. And cooking oil, all that stuff goes under that category. Now, why am I giving you these? Because a complete meal and the best meals to eat are going to be meals that have all three of these major macronutrients in them. When you combine those things, your body really likes it and it's going to keep you fuller, longer, it's going to give you more energy, and it's going to make you feel a lot better throughout your day if you eat these three things in conjunction. So again, you're going to audit each meal. Each meal, and what you're going to do is you're going to put a nice check next to it, or a star, whatever you prefer, if you had all three of these things in your meal. If you didn't, I want you to write a big X next to it, okay, and make sure that you understand whether you're getting in all of these in each meal. What you want to do is you want to get an understanding of what you are eating, okay. If you know you're getting in one of these and you know you're not getting in one of them, like most of the time most people don't eat enough vegetables and they don't eat enough protein. So you'll notice that as you go through your audit, okay? So check each meal, put a check next to it in a star or a cross through or an X if you didn't, and then we're gonna go through to your grade, okay? This is what I like to do when I sit down with new clients, they bring in their, their food log and I give them a little grade, okay? 
80% of your meals, if you gave them a check or a star, good for you. If 80% of your meals are eating all these things together, you probably feel really good. You're probably losing body fat. You're probably getting towards your goal every day. Now, that's pretty good. 80%, that probably means that you're lowering body fat and you're getting leaner for the most part. Okay. 50% if half of your meals are paired like that and half your meals aren't, you're probably like in the in-between zone where you might not be gaining weight, you're not losing weight, you're kind of stagnant. Okay, everything's kind of not moving really. Okay, which is okay if that's your goal. And then lastly, you're gonna get a 30% or under, you're probably gaining weight, you probably don't feel good about life, and you probably hate yourself. Maybe not. You don't wanna get chubs though, okay? Don't get chubs by eating those Oreos, all right? Don't get chubs, okay? If you want a six pack, think I got a six pack under here? You're damn right I do. Why? I'm not an 80%er, I'm a 90%er plus, okay? But seriously, give yourself a grade. See what you're missing in here. If you're getting 30%, I guarantee you're not happy with your goals. I guarantee you're not moving towards them. So check them out. You know, if you know you're missing protein in most of your meals, you're not going to recover. And you're not going to feel good. All right. So make sure that you are doing this audit. And then when you do this audit, you can start to figure out what you need to add more in. Okay. If you're eating way too much carbs or if you're only eating carbs and you're not eating enough protein fat, then that means you need to start adding in meat, adding in some good fats to your diet, and I guarantee you'll start to feel better, and I guarantee you'll start to lose body fat, you'll perform better, you're gonna have better energy, you're gonna have more endurance in our sessions, you're just gonna feel better about where you're going if you're eating this way. Again, do that audit, make sure that you're eating this way so that you can move up from 30 to 50% from 50 to 80% so that you're really moving towards your goals. Got it? That's what you need to do. Do this audit and then we'll get more in depth on what you need to do from there. Got it? Word. Oh wait, hold on a second. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Good lighting? Does that feel great or what? That feels great. <laughs> Hi, let us get a couple Oreos. Uh, let's finish off with some sour patch kids. Yeah. <laughs>